What's no. up, YouTube? Doggo405 back, and I'm with friends. Introduce yourself, bitches. I am Shady, and I'm going to record a mine here soon, too. So, hi, I'm opening my dog and change, and I have a mouthful of chips. <laughs> For those of you that could not understand him, because I hardly did, he said he's over 9,000 chains, and he has a mouthful of chips. <laughs> okay, that was funny. And I forgot, I paused my... No, I didn't want to touch the poke etch. I'm continuing. Oh my god, it's the rival. Ow, he pushed me. Oh no, so no, huh? <laughs> Gundam style? Okay. Let me just grab my iPod. <laughs> Not seriously. Aww. Uh. I will find a way to put Gundam style into my videos. Even if it's my intro. Yeah, because I don't even have an intro yet. Chris, are you a YouTube partner or something? Am I even a YouTube partner? No. Dude, I got I, eight I subscribers. Get, I, I got like 20 videos. How do you get custom thumbnails? Custom thumbnails? It's a mango. Yeah, you can make them yourself. I mean, how do you put them on? Um, In your uploader. Just go to like the bottom of the uploading screen. And it'll, like there will literally be a button for custom thumbnails, and then you can just go and grab a random picture from your computer. That's cool. right. Hello, guys. It's Shady here with the second part of my uh, Avatar Let's Play for Diamond. And just to show you something, first my computer is slow because I'm uploading something. Damn it! I should have waited. Oh well. We'll be doing it in slow mo today. <laughs> Isn't Diamond always in slow mo? No, not for me. Usually it works just fine. But besides for my Emperor, we now have Trishka the Golem, Ballbuster the Tyranitar, Aerosmith the Aerodactyl, Blade the Scizor, and Shell the... 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 Laron. Damn it. I almost had it perfect and I fucked it up. Oh well. Okay, at least I'm somewhat fair. I started with the real Pokemon, like at their bases. Well, I can't start out with uh, Trishka at its base because I'll have to trade it, and I can't trade it. Aerosmith is at its base. I can't do it for Blade because you have to trade to evolve. Tyranitar was an accident, and I wanted to have a lair on instead of an arrow. Okay, I can, I can accept the lair on, but dude, you can do what I was planning on doing for my trade evolutions. I was going to just hack in the trade evolution later on when I would probably be able to get it. Oh, well, too late. We're sticking with this. Wait, Shady. What's your um? What's your Laron's name? Shell. I C -H -E -L -L. Yep. Ah, smart. The only problem is that she doesn't make portals; she just makes holes. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's close enough. Yeah. Ballbuster's also a female Tyranitar. <laughs> yeah. So far, the only thing that's female on my team is um Skarmory. I did it half and half, and it didn't take me that long to find females with the Pokemon that I wanted to. Yeah, but dude, you also need to realize I only have three Pokemon. Wait, what's your third? I starter, Rhyhorn, and then Skarmory. Oh, yeah. I was going to add in a Rhyperior, but then I was like, nah. So, my Doggo's channel will be in the description below, plus the rules, plus... Homeless people making love to each other silently in the dark. Mm. <laughs> and the same goes for what Shady just said. His channel will be in the description below on my side. The rules will be down there. And unfortunately, I cannot promise old people in the dark. Old homeless. I said homeless, not old. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so with his channel, you get homeless people. With <laughs> mine, you get old people. I need to work on the merchandise. <laughs> oh my god. We call it alley bangers. <laughs> uh, or we could call it curb stompers too, but that. <laughs> okay, enough of that. It's slow motion! <laughs> okay. Enough with the slow mo. Basically, it'll, be, it'll make me epic whenever I'm running anywhere. The most of you will probably get tired of seeing me just running as slow as I possibly can. 
Don't, don't worry, worry, when the upload don't stops, it just won't upload anything. Oh wait, I just realized, Shady, I'm technically battling alongside you right now to face um, Team Galactic, because Dawn has her Piplup out. You're a female now. <laughs> Does that bitch have a lair on? Uh, I wouldn't know. All I know is that she has Piplup. Do you think Dawn has a lair on? Well, she does have a Kadabra later in the game. Kadabra. Kadabra. It looks like Zoom. Horny little bee doof. <laughs> oh yeah, that reminds me. I should probably catch a bee doof. That way I could use it as an HM slave. Uh, when it evolves into a... I know, I'm ten I won't be able to use it in battle, but I'm still going to carry it around on me for the slave part of it. Oh, yeah. Because there's nothing in the rule saying that you can't have a bee barrel as your slave. As soon as it becomes B barrel, I'm not gonna be able to use it in battle. So what? Well, I I, I made sure I picked up Pokemon so they can each get a fair HM move, and I won't have to make anybody a slave. Yeah, I know, but dude, I don't want to teach my water type like a thousand um, HMs. Well, they only learned two. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, it's only waterfall and surf in this game. Yeah. I was thinking it was like, I was thinking it was kind of like with like dive and whirlpool and all those craps. And also, uh, Agron can learn waterfall, I think. Mm. Sure. Agron can also learn Surf, now that I think about it. Seriously? Agron and Rhydon can learn Surf. I knew Rhydon could. Yeah, I was looking up, I was like, Agron can learn Surf? That's awesome! <laughs> Rhydon can learn Surf because he's just that badass. Doesn't make sense how Agron can swim! <laughs> it's rocket yeah, once, once Agron jumps into the water, that's it, the tidal wave. <laughs> True. <laughs> Tyranitars can destroy whole mountains, completely re completely reshaping the land. They say after a Tyranitar gets angry, map makers have to re have to redraw maps. So I'm guessing there's no Tyranitar on um, Mount Everest. No, they they kept the Tyranitars off Mount Everest. Hmm. But they they were completely decimating the mountain population. There used to be thousands of mountains roaming free on the planet. <laughs> And then Tyranitars came along and just leveled them. Thank God we kept Everest, so idiots can climb it. I'm gonna stick a pole in this bitch! <laughs> oh God. Rape that Shinx. Wait, I can hold down the tab button. It makes things go faster. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So I was clicking the tab button and holding down B. Well, actually my A button. Hey, frame reaps! <laughs> it does not look good. Yeah, oh, this, I think I'm like, stick with walking in slow mo. Okay, take off the tab button. Oh, I was running normally there for a second. <laughs> I'm challenged by youngster Tyler. Let's have a Pokemon battle, but I'm gonna win. I just realized I kind of forgot to pay attention to see if any of them, the people have battled so far, are avatars. So far, oh, this one has to be part of the Fire Nation. Who? Uh, this youngster, I forget what his name is, but he has a Shinx. Oh, yeah. And only a Shinx. Oh, yeah, I forgot, you're all the way back on the first route. I already have my first gym badge. Go, Sizzle, use Quick Attack. Go, Riddick, use Horn Attack. Riddick! <laughs> I just killed that Magikarp. <laughs> Overkilled it. Okay, I found another avatar. Water, he had a Magikarp and then a Starly. So far I found three avatars. You mean people using multiple elements. Okay, I get it. Yeah. I was wondering what you meant by avatars. Alright. Did you not watch the second part all the way through? No, I haven't watched the second I haven't watched the second or the third yet. Wow. It's gonna get to that while my videos were uploading. <laughs> because I'll have nothing better to do. I'm not getting on Black Ops 2 anytime soon. Dude, I mean, well, I was funny, on it. But, like, if you've noticed, like, in all my videos that I don't have, um, either Kevin or, or Steven in with me, all I talk about through the entire thing is just the game itself. In that second part, I was actually talking about, um, like, Black Ops 2 and stuff. Hmm. So, yeah, for actually, like, for once, when I was solo, I was actually talking about, 
other games than aside from what I was playing. I wish I, I if I compare Black Ops. Okay, 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 okay. So people who are watching, lag compensation works like this. See how fast Dawn's walking? That's how fast she's walking on my screen. Now on another person's screen, she's walking even slower. <laughs> something like that. Something very retarded. It's like lag compensation, so hard to describe. In fact, people who tried to describe it failed to describe it right. All it does is give everybody a headache. It's like it. it it's like watching it. How do I put it? It's like watching a psychopath. No, 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 no. When you think of the right word, think of the right word. Think of the right word. It's like watching somebody with Down syndrome. Okay, we're gonna stop that joke. <laughs> yeah, no, I um, I'm not hopping on the making fun of Down syndrome bandwagon. Does one announce that over nine thousand change is black, not insensitive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm very insensitive. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, you can't be a real YouTuber without being insensitive in, so in some way. Yeah. What about a real... I, I almost said the N-word on Shady's video. <laughs> Dude, we already said it earlier, remember? You're black, I'm white. You can say it. I'm okay with it. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> I'm waiting for... Future references. All right, I'm waiting for somebody to, like, me to be, like, an M&M of YouTube, basically. And then I could just get away with saying it. <laughs> Don't worry, Shady. Any video that you're in with me, you can say it. Alright, nice. Or any video that's somewhat associated to Steven. So basically, any Pokemon video, you can say it. Nope, there's an actual black moderator has to be there. <laughs> I'm honorary black. Honorary black is not the same as black. It should be. <laughs> I'm walking in slow motion. Wait, I, need, I forgot. I need to go and catch a Bidoof. I can't do the move. Alright. How rare are Bidoof? On the, Very like, round rare. above Jubilee? Battling. Go, Abra! Actually, screw it. I'll see if I can teach him Rock Smash to Rhyhorn. Go, Blade! Use your power, scissor clamp thingy. You know what? Just quick attack it. Don't, don't even worry. Scissor clamp thingy. You know what? Just quick attack it. Teach rock smash to. Wow! What? Everybody on my team can learn it. We'll teach Blade? Blade's Blade. Blade's kind of an Easter egg for. Uh, well, not an Easter egg. Kind of like a little thing that I like saying. I always name my scissors Blade. Blades. Uh, not somewhat after Blade on uh on the Marvel comics, but also. Somewhat after Blade and Pokemon, because there's a guy who had a Scizor, who, and he named it Blade. Oh, yeah. Like, one of the five Pokemon that have been nicknamed in the show. Yeah. Not counting the ones from, um, the Mewtwo movie. Oh, yeah. Because only, like, two of those were nicknamed. Brute Root and, um, Shell Shocker. Yeah. Fun fact, you cannot name your, um, Pokemon that in, um, Gen 3 games. Considering the um the letter is spacing, the character um limit. Go shell shocker I can't believe what Cole came up with it. It's like Blast <laughs> I would name Twine Turtle Beach. <laughs> like why? It's like cause if you get if you put your head up next to its shell, <laughs> you can hear it trying to walk inside its shell. <laughs> and then from there I have no clue where I got the rest. Who knows? Who cares? I'm battling another random person. Alright. Probably deliberately gonna make Chell the last one I use. Go! Ball Buster! <laughs> I might so, be able to get my next teammate in this episode if I try to hurry up. I'm so happy that Sandstream makes it. You could also make the episode go long if you have the time. True. Fight that Abra! <laughs> it's been a while since I've done a true hour of power. Power power! It's been a while since I've done an hour of any Pokemon game. An hour of anything. Not even well, a no. game. Well, no, I have a Bioshock game that I just posted that was an hour long. Oh, you mean the, 
Wait, so you put up like a second part? Yeah, Sweet. part two. Yeah, part two is actually pretty funny because I have like, a, instead of just having my friend Panda, we have four to five people because some people came and left. And we're just sitting there talking and it's nearly impossible. It's like having Nate there. You just can't hold a conversation for long because it's just shifting so much. You could, hear, you could hardly hear me get a word in edgewise, but with everybody else, some of the conversations that went on were kind of awesome and wrong. The one time we were getting a bit too close to the edge on some situations, so I was like, "Hey, yeah, guys, most of my most of my uh, users are about like I don't know under 18." They looked at me like, "Ooh, why the hell did you let us talk about this for this long?" Because it was hilarious up until that point. Well, technically I'm 17. Would you? Does that count? What does technically 17 mean? I am 17, but would that technically count as under 18? Um. <laughs> Is that a question? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is that a legitimate question? Just because you're under 18 in terms of like what's being talked about. So, because you're technically 17, you're asking me if it's possible that you're not under 18. I guess. I mean, I'm just saying, would you technically, like, consider me not able to be in that conversation? I think you're under that. You're like saying, this is saying, hey. You know, driving 300 miles per hour is technically illegal, but what if I drive 297 miles per hour? <laughs> is that called as illegal? Oh, hey, it's done rendering. Yay, I'm going to bring up the screen. You know what? I'll just pause it right here for a bit. Okay. Oh, Random items. I found an awakening. It's useless to me. Okay. And we're back, and unfortunately, it's probably gonna be at normal speed now. I need to make the I need to change the options too, so I can make the texting faster. It's never the first thing I do. It's always the first thing I do. Yeah, I saw in your video. I was like, "You're messing with the options." Why? Then I saw you go down and say, "Text speed high, uh, text speed fast." I was like, "Oh yeah." There's... Dude, I think I said in my first part of my Emerald thing that like I tried to go to the options. It was all right fast, and I said like the text was going too slow. I need to do another Emerald Let's Play. I, I mean, I had one that I did and I beat in like 11... No, it was Sapphire. And I beat it in 11 episodes. Nobody watched it, but I was like, oh, well, no, not nobody. A lot of people watched it. But I was like, yay! I have my first Let's Play done pretty fast, too. I just started going down the line just completing one Let's Play. I need to start doing that again, but... I like changing it up. Dude, look at me. I have like seven LPs up on my channel and none of them are finished yet. I have five. I had one that I was doing that I stopped. I was supposed to technically stop Heart Gold, but I was like, I can't stay away! It's a randomizer! I change my team like every second in the randomizer. Exactly. It's like, oh hey, yay! Scizor, catching that. Oh hey, camera up, catching that. Oh hey, Charizard, catching that. Oh hey, oh, I'm out of room. Alright, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. I'm just letting you know, if you ever get rid of the Rhyhorn that's on your team, you will yep. be bitch slapped while you're sleeping. I will not get rid of that Rhyhorn. You better not. I will if I catch a Rhyperior, though. Okay. That, 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 one, that'll probably be the one situation where I get rid of it. Exactly. <laughs> By the way, if you guys don't know what I used to get all my Pokemon, uh, I used an action replay code. If you don't know how to search one of those, then you're stupid. You're lazy. <laughs> or just stupid. Then you're adopted. <laughs> you are adopted. No, you're retarded. You have Down syndrome. That's that that, that that's why you didn't search it. Well, it hasn't even been five minutes since the first Down syndrome joke. <laughs> yeah. Is it wrong to make fun of retarded people? No. It's wrong to make fun of people with mental dis disorders. No. It's a free country, freedom of speech. Just because some people don't like it doesn't mean that you don't have to like it. Hey, if it's a free country, how come I try to steal a flag and got arrested? Because you're black? Because we are absolutely retarded. It's like, there's a flag, he's trying to steal it. That's illegal. That's don't illegal. Oh, oh, what's that? Somebody just stabbed 18 people at Walmart? Eh, we're going to matter on 10 cents, bro. Yeah. Then, on the other hand, I will have to put a foot down and say, yes, that's illegal. <laughs> I mean, 
there there are some things you just don't do. Stabbing people at Walmart is not. It, it's probably one of them. Probably up there. At least. Speaking of Walmart, have you ever heard the news story? It happened really this year. This guy in Walmart, I think, it was either in Georgia or Florida, one of those two, and he pretended like he was gonna videotape this woman's shoes and sandals because she had her sandals on. This woman's feet for this for the show. He's like, "Can I see your feet?" Sure. She so held up her foot, and this guy licked her toes and ran out of Walmart. What? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's taking a foot fetish to a new far. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the funniest crime I've ever heard of. <laughs> oh, lick and run. Crime? <laughs> there is no law that specifically says you can't lick a person's toe and run away. I don't know why you would, but still, it's not illegal. <laughs> that's so weird. Oh my God. Okay. I can't remember if he licked it or if he sucked it because those are two different things. He is giving her a toe job. Yep. <laughs> why did Why did she just kick him? Like, because <laughs> he would have loved it more. <laughs> exactly. He, a dude. Foot he took a foot fetish to a new far, so he would have loved to go and kicked him in the face. <laughs> I don't know why there are people with foot fetishes. Just like. Why the feet? Anything on the body, you choose the feet. <laughs> There's people with you the part that touches the ground the most. I mean, but then again, there are people who lick butt cracks, so there's that. Okay, I'm just gonna say, for some reason, I don't find that nearly as weird as a foot fetish. So, you don't find not only the fact that that's a licking of butt crack. But that you also have a butt crack, and you know what goes on there, and you don't find it here. Yes, yeah, you see it in porn a lot, where somebody just licks somebody's asshole. And that's why they don't get kissed after they do it. <laughs> that's why they're single. We'll put it like that. That's why you get, and some kids might learn a new word here, that's why you get an enema before you do it. I mean, you got to do you know what an enema it is? Of course I know what an enema is. I mean, thank God, if you're a porn star, you have to your ass and like that. Uh, wait. Hey, Dalga, do you know what an enema is? I'm not going to say anything. Alright, well, I'm going to describe it to myself, because I don't think they know what an enema is. It's where they take a hose, shove it up your ass, shoot water up your ass, and then let all the shit drain out. So, it's basically a Listerine for anal cavity. <laughs> yes. You know those jets in hot tubs? It's like you took your bare ass and just put, like, your asshole around one of those jets. You're just getting water shot up there, and then it's mainly just to get people who have, uh, constipation problems. And now that I've disgusted many people into not watching my video, and probably Chris, <laughs> probably my Douglas video. Dude, you can well, call me by anything. You could call me by Chris well, yeah. or anything. And yeah, then I know. Always, like, announce my name to the world. Chris. Well, to be honest, I don't think I don't think we can sink any lower. Considering that, considering the Down syndrome jokes you made this video, I don't think there's a, there's a lower. <laughs> Every name associated. I mean, we can we could start talking about people who've been assassinated. That's so weird. I mean. So we've, t we've talked about like mentally retarded people. Let's talk about like crippled people now. All right. Come on. Let's go to the I'm first ten wheel. yards. <laughs> All right. I took a guy's wheelchair once, sat at the top of a slope, and said, "Crawl to it." Wow. I can see my face right now. <laughs> you can see my face right now. It was like it's like bright red. Right now, I look like Macaulay Culkin on the cover of Home Alone. <laughs> You look like Gary Coleman. It, no, and no, I, I, I never actually did that, but it would be hilarious if I did. <laughs> okay. Hmm, and it looks like I'm gonna be getting my next team member right here in front of the Valley Windworks. Hey, if you could get your hair cut like any president, what, who, what president would it be? Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> John F. Kennedy. Washington. I want that wig. Because <laughs> John and Penny got shot in the head. 
I want John F. Kennedy's wig. John F. Kennedy got shot in the head. Abraham Lincoln got shot in the head. Wait, I want I want Washington's wig. What was I saying about Kennedy? Well, I mean, that's a different, because Abraham Lincoln's brain was hidden by his hat. Like, I'm pretty sure the hat was just his hair. <laughs> by the way, I learned this a level 6. Golem starts out with rock polish. Okay. I never knew that. Yeah, level 6 Golem starts out with rock polish. I never knew that. Rock polish. Is that a fancy term for, like, good it, it, It's when you let a girl lick him. <laughs> It's like the Pokemon term for getting your balls, basically. Hey, girl, give me some of that rock polish. Give me some of that tea. What is it? Uh, 69? <laughs> if you're talking about swagger, that's TM87. <laughs> oh, wait, no, what is rock polish? Oh, 69. Google it. Yeah, Steve, you can Google anything. We're the ones in the middle of recording. Oh. I'll Google why is Crick such a big bear. Hey. Don't do all your still on the Skype call. Hey, I found Boodoof. I found Boodoof. Then, and then Chris, Chris Angel and Chris Brown pop up. <laughs> I'm gonna use a Master Ball on a Boodoof. Why do you have Master Balls? Uh, through the thing that I used to cheat. Okay. Well, I wasn't gonna say anything, I just wanted to hear your reaction. I have Master Balls, too. <laughs> I don't need to catch anything, though, so... I know, not... I'm just catching the Beedoo, like, for now. Beedoo, bitch! Your, your balls can catch a lot. Name to the cop, Beedoo, yes. Holy crap! My Golem got 81 experience and went from level 6 to level 7. I'm guessing Golem are easy to train. Oh, no, it's like now a quarter of the way to level 8. Damn. Go Golem. Go Golem. Go Trish. And the nickname for my B-Doop is Slavenator 2. Slavenator. Let's talk about Slavenator. What do you say? What did Steve say? Is he a slave killer? Uh, I don't know how to answer that question. I found a Bweasel. I want to use the Bweasel, but I can't. It's not part of the Earth Nation. I'm stuck with the other water type around here. Could have gone with the Water Nation if you really wanted to. But then I couldn't even use Drapirior. Yeah. And besides, I wouldn't have had any um, flying types unless I wanted to get an Articuno. Or water? Yeah, is okay, it under the Water Nation? You could have gotten a Pelipper. Screw Pelipper. There's a couple of water flyings or poison flyings like Golbat or Ice Fly. the Water Nation? Yeah. Oh. It's poison, grass, water, and uh, ice. Hmm. For some reason I was thinking poison was um, in the air. I gotta, um, I gotta get off and clean. I'll talk uh, to you guys later. Alright. Uh, Shady's viewers and the Chris's viewers. I hope you've enjoyed enough of, um, enough of the only black guy in the video. Hopefully I'll be back for more. Peace in the Middle East. Infection. Alright. And now, now, there have been, now there's only two. Who shall be the next How about burning down that orphanage? What? No, how about burning down that orphanage? Hmm. True. Magmar, Magmar's been kind of bored. And my Arcanine has been, like... We're, like trying to find some action lately. No, we should we should burn we should burn down an orphanage for the homeless and the for the homeless, crippled and and retarded, mentally deficient. Let's go, yeah. Let's go. Let's go technical there. <laughs> okay. People are like, this is a bad video. It's like I don't give a fuck. And my shell loss is named Pinky. Pinky. I'm offensive. Of course, of course, I'm offensive. I choose to be. Though, if you met me, right, the the what people need to realize is that Shady's a persona, kind of like how Eminem has Slim Shady as a persona. 
The real me would probably never talk about. Never mind. Okay, no, the real me, Seth, would never talk about this, like in actual tone. Shady would, though. And I also play Shady outside the mic, too, so. You may run up to me and I'll be like, dude, no, it's Shady. That's what I'm gonna kill. That, 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 that's why I'm gonna light that orphanage on fire. Give me that match. Give me that match. <laughs> yeah. No, I want to light an orphanage on fire. Hmm. I'm still trying to find a heat trend to help us out with that. <laughs> Lava bloom. Now they can't escape. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but every heat trend I find doesn't want to, isn't willing to help us, and they keep breaking out of my ultra balls. How do you keep finding a heat trick? <laughs> I keep... I, I saved, and I end up, like, never catching it. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I don't have the Master Ball. Like, on my real, like, diamond, I do not have my Master Ball left. I don't know what happened to it. I probably used it on Bidu for something. I never do this, but a, a ton of Matai's takes away weight on your Pokemon. Really? Yeah, so like, if you have Heavy Slam on there, it makes it do less damage. Hmm. And then again, if um, your opponent uses that and then you, you were to use like Low Kick, then that would be amazing. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Debating. I don't know what I'm debating about, I just probably say I'm debating. There's a Pokemon I know who I see a lot of people use Grass Knot against. I end up using, like, I, I realize that if I used a ton of my ties on them, they wouldn't be able to use Grass Knot or Low Kick at all against them. Alright, Tackle Your Machop. Though then again, I just realized one bad, one fighting move can take me out. Because it's quadruply effective. Wait, what are using against him, Golem? No, Lahirhan. Oh. Oh crap, he just used Loki. And I'm dead. I'm gonna hit that tab button. Go away, Rodactyl! Fighting types are like my bane. Yeah, that's why I have Skarmory. And that's why I'm also gonna have a Metagross later on. How are you going to catch a Metagross? You're going to cheat it, aren't you? Yes. Okay. Like I said in one of my videos, I'm going to have three legit captured. My starter, the Shelloth, and the Lucario. And then three hacked. Hmm. Which would be Metagross, Rhyperior, Skarmory. You're the legit big capture. I'm gonna have them all hacked. <laughs> except for your starter. Well, except for my starter. No, I don't really count the starter as legitly captured since you don't actually capture it. Just give it to you. Just mm -hmm. like, here! Take it! There's only one thing I don't like about Diamond and Pearl, and it's that the guy has, like, the stupidest hat ever. It's a big ass hat that takes up your face. It's a cab driver's hat. Ah. This is called the creep the little girl out dance. <laughs> what are you doing? Dancing around a little girl. <laughs> so, don't, wait, don't tell me, you're the embodiment of Hypno, aren't you? No. Hypno's a screwed up Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Hypno's a funny Pokemon, though. I'm gonna rip your cheese. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I forgot I had that on. Hit <laughs> what? Your cheat? Well, not just that, but I have max cash. So I have like nine. I have infinite money. Really? I yeah, I, I forgot I had that on. That was from a while ago. 
Dude, come on, I don't even do that. I didn't mean to do that. But I'm gonna use it anyway because I can't get rid of the money. <laughs> you could waste the money. That's what I just did. I bought paralyzed peels and antidotes and potions. And then you could just sell like all of it and like I don't know. Just keep all the money. Yeah, it's like if I sell it back I just get money. Yeah, but you'd get half the amount that you spent. You're gonna give me rock smash. Try la la la. Okay. No! I want to fight her! I'm facing Team Galactic. Oh my god, with this extra long video, I'm gonna have to like watch it in slow motion, frame by frame, just to make sure I don't end up missing um, any avatars. Why, do you have an avatar head count or something? Yes. Starting in part two. Head butt, the Zubat. No, it didn't do much. I'm still gonna headbutt the Zubat. Oh no, he's each time in me. I quad resist that. Pinky is killing things, and it's like five levels lower. You know that's sad when something that you just caught is killing like everything. Just die, just die. And to be perfectly honest with YouTube, this is my first time ever using a shell off. <laughs> Shell us is in power. Shell, stop being confused. <laughs> the Zuba I'm fishing is confused. And it used Astonish. Stupid, stupid fucking Chromedia. I hate being bipolar. It's great. <laughs> I just remembered that joke. <laughs> I never heard that joke before. Then again, I don't watch much TV anymore. It's not a TV thing, it's on the internet. It's a picture. Okay. Yeah, Shady, remind me to stop downloading ROMs off the internet for like a year because like I have so many games that I want LP right now that like that I'm gonna end up forgetting about others because I haven't uploaded Emerald in like a month. Ooh. Seriously. What? Slap a shanks. Well, I was super effective and I still didn't do much. Oh, I'll order its accuracy. Like, I, put, I plan on doing um, an Ash Gray um, like LP. Oh god, I did that once. You actually no. played it? Or you actually tried to record it? I played it. it. I didn't LP it. I wanted to play it and beat it first, because that's what I usually do with a game I'm going to LP. I usually have it beaten already. That way, so I know what's going on. When I tried to beat it, I couldn't because I did things wrong. I did the events wrong. For one thing, you're not supposed to evolve your Pokemon at certain points, otherwise you can't do certain things. Yeah. But I might not even use Ash's full team. Well, I probably will, but I might... Ch not exactly cheat, like, but you know what. There's a Venusaur that if you help, you can only have Bulbasaur for, it to, for you to go talk to it. But when you talk to the Venusaur, it teaches your Bulbasaur Solar Beam. You didn't have a Bulbasaur, though. You had, like, an Ivysaur? I had a Venusaur. And it was like, yeah. no, fuck you. Yeah, fun thing. Rare candy, the cheats still work in it, though. Yeah, I know, because it's just a ROM hack. So the, yeah. it still has the same basis as um the real game. The Bulbasaur comes with an Everstone, though, too, so if you don't want to evolve it, you can just have it keep the Everstone. I remember one of them comes with, like, a Lucky Egg, doesn't it? Uh, I think... I think that would be... I think it's the Squirtle, I'm not too sure. You need to catch, you need to catch the Butterfree, or the Caterpie. It, it's funny, it's like... 
It's like you do certain things to activate events like, okay, I capture a Caterpie, I got a Caterpie. I go ahead and evolve it to a Metapod, fight the guy and get into the Metapod standoff contest, beat it. Then a Beedrill attacks, Metapod saves you all of a sudden, it just instantly evolves into a Butterfree. Because it's like, we don't make sense. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, is it even possible to get the Charizard to listen to you in the game? No. Once you get the Charmeleon, it doesn't listen to you. Okay. Because like, I was seeing in like, people's comments and stuff, like when um, Shofu was LPing it, that um, like once you defeated Blaine, Charizard would start listening to you. Uh, that's not... If it was supposed to line up with the episodes, it's not supposed to happen. So when you get to Orange Islands, yeah, and Polyrath... Kind of thing, yeah. Starts listening. Yeah. I'm, I just wonder what would happen if you were to actually defeat Mewtwo in, in that area. If you were to actually somehow defeat him. I don't know. That's something I want to do. I'm going to rare candy my Pikachu. To level 100 and kill Mewtwo. Kill it! There's actually a Pokemon, uh... Thing... There's actually a Pokemon ROM hack where, uh... Your rival, who is your brother... And a couple other people get killed. They actually die. Oh yeah, and um... I don't remember the name, but I know the game. It, like, he, like, um, Giovanni, um, your brother, they get killed by Mewtwo. Yeah, it's like an epic battle between Mewtwo and Deoxys or something. They try to, like, destroy the world or something like that. Yeah. And, like, your brother gets killed by Mewtwo. It's, like, just weird. Just randomly just kills him out of nowhere. It doesn't even explain why. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when and you go to battle the Mewtwo yourself, like, it says, like, I'll do the same thing to you that I did your brother. Or something like that. Yeah. At least I think that's what it said, or I could be thinking of a completely different ROM hack where YouTube bitch talks you. Yeah, and it forcibly, it forcibly makes you the leader of Team Rocket. Oh yeah. That's the one thing I don't like about the game. Like, I, okay, I know I'm starting to get a hypocrite, because I, because like I've said before, I want a game that will allow you to choose to be, um, like what side you want to be on, good or evil, but a game that forces you along a path, I just don't really care for much. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go grind real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> grind? You mean rare candy? Yes, yeah, fine. I'm gonna go rare candy real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> I have so many of them. Hold down the tab button to make the speed grinding, kind of. I don't know what level I should make him. I think I'll make him... I think I'll put Imperter at 14. No, I'll just put him all at 14. Oh yeah, did you ever get to the Porygon area in, um, in, um, Ash Gray? The Porygon area? Yeah, the Porygon episode 1. No. Seriously, you never did that one? No, there's some episodes I missed. I got to the part, I beat Blaine, I got my 8th badge, I was trying to find a way to get to the Elite, to the elite 4, or the um, Pokemon League. And you never and, did the Porygon event? Nope. I may have done it, just never realized it. Yeah, I did do it, actually. Dude, that place... That's where it was from. I don't remember exactly where it is, but like it's like right after you do um the like the person with the dittos event. It's like Oh. Yo, I just like I hate how like everything like it's hard to like tell where you're going in that. Cause that's all the arrows? Yes. I had to go and watch somebody's video frame by frame to like quickly write out the path I would have to take if I wanted to get through there as fast as I could. I have it written down on like a piece, like a post-it that's on my desk right now, like with the aerials of which direction I have to go. Funny thing is, it's just you go in one like you go in one each direction once. You rely on one direction to get there. No, you go in each direction once. Oh, I was hoping you get the joke. 
Dude, trust me, I hate One Direction. <laughs> you know, I don't know why I hate them, I just hate them. I was wondering why my friends hate Justin Bieber, then I heard his voice. <laughs> okay, I think this is going to be Pinky's first loss, and it's against the first admin of um, Team Galactic. Yep. But it died due to poison, so it's not like it died against the Pokemon. It killed um, the Zubat, at least. Let's go Oppa. Oppa shall right. the Perugly. I'm back, and I'm not even going to tell you what I re rare candy everything up to. I'll just have to watch your video, then. Yeah. Well, no, I'm probably not gonna show off one quick one here. Mm. Oh, no. oh no, you're gonna see. This is gonna be a bit OP, but. Go, Imperter! Did you evolve your Imperter? No. Okay, good. No, it's only. I got it up to 14. So it's only one level behind my starter. Yeah. Alright, gotta go talk to Rourke. Rourke. Oh my god, Oppa's getting killed by a Parag Leaf. I might have to use a rare candy cheat also. Yeah, the only problem I have with having six Pokemon is that I'm swapping them out between... I'm probably going to start making it so that I tr don't train them for every four, I only train them every four levels. That's why you should probably should have put like three of them into the PC or something and just grab them along the way. Grab with parentheses. And I want it now! Because variety is awesome. Screw variety. I, I really just wanted my importer up because he was only at level 8. I was about to get into a battle with Rourke, who has a level 14 Cranidos. <laughs> and he didn't know. I don't think he knew a water movie. Oh, yeah, he knew Bubble. But that was about it. Well, let's see. What does he know now? He doesn't like, learn Bubble Beam until after like 18 or something. Yeah. But I just wanted to get him higher so he'd be able to at least be. Since, until he's at least doing damage with that Bubble Beam. Not to mention, all my other Pokemon have normal moves, or rock moves, or moves that aren't very effective against rock types. Uh, Rock Smash? Oh, yeah. Who should I give that to? I gave it to my Rhyhorn. Well, I want to teach my, I think I'm going to teach my Aggron Surf. Just to have it to be different. And teach Empoleon Waterfall. Yeah, Im no. no. Like yeah, Im attacker, isn't it? Imperator Waterfall. <laughs> I learned fa fly. I almost said fly. <laughs> that leaves Triska. Bla no, Blade's gonna learn cut. So Triska or Ball Buster. Ball Buster, I think, will look better with strength. So I'll give it to Triska. Mm -hmm. And Riddick grows to level twelve after beating the Parably. We'll get rid of your mud sport. Trishka. Well, I guess you will get to see what level all of them are, because me deciding who got Rock Smash just showed who at, what level everybody's at. Everybody's at level 14. Overpowered. My strongest level's at 15, I got level 12, and 9 in like a 10. Eh, close enough. Dude, if I were to face you in a battle right now, you would murder me. And I yeah, probably. Edges than you. Well, no, because you have uh, you have your Turtwig, and if you know one grass move, he pretty much has my whole team beat besides for my uh, Laron and my uh, Scizor. True, but only then I don't have anything to take on your Scizor with. You could use Rhyhorn, because I don't know any. I only know uh, two normal moves with Scizor. Yeah, but dude, the only move I have that caused decent damage against you. It's Rock Smash. Exactly. So that'll take out your Laron, but... That'll take out my Laron, definitely, and that'll take out my Scizor also. Because I'll be doing, like, one damage against your Rhyhorn with every quick attack. True. So, you could beat me. You just need to play smart. And plus, I still have Skarmory in the wings. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you... And Skarmory is very defensive. Yep. Go, Bubble. Bubble that bitch. Bubbles. Fucking bubbles. 
Poor Geo, dude. He didn't know what hit him. No, I'm pretty sure he knew he was getting hit by bubbles. I saw this picture of a girl who was uh, blowing bubble, who who had made bubbles with her hand soap, and basically they were floating in the air, and her golem was being happy and poking them and stuff. She blew more bubbles at him, and that shows her at a grave site where her golem was buried. Because bubble, because water attacks are super effective against rock and ground types. <laughs> She murders her own Pokemon. Yes, Poke Logic. Let's just imagine that was a Nuzlocke and that's why it died. Could you imagine if if real traders are like, I'm going to take a Nuzlocke challenge. It's like, they look at their goal and it's like, oh, Golem, you fainted, sorry. Puts him in a six foot hole and like, the goal's like, oh shit, what are you doing? <laughs> just buries him. At least Golem could like, dig his way out. I'd hate to have the Pokemon that knows dig and bury him. <laughs> Because he would be pissed. <laughs> True. That's why I would purposely wait to bury my Pokemon until I get a Pokemon with fly. That way I can fly away. He won't be able to find me then. Unless it's a dog Pokemon. Unless it's a Pokemon that's like a dog. Then he could sniff me yeah. out. There could be Pokemon that are fast enough to follow you on the ground. Technically, it, it's weird. In the TV show, they make Scizors fast, but in the actual game, they aren't fast at all. They're pretty slow. Scythers are faster than Scizors. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like one of the few Scizors that they've shown jump from tree to tree at, like, the speed of light, and then they show then a Scizor in the real game is, like, slower than almost every other Pokemon. That Scyther is faster because it can get three hundred. It can get over three hundred speed. It can also get over uh, three hundred attack. Hmm. Scizor can only get over three hundred attack. I think maybe over three hundred defense. But over three hundred, I mean, there's an extra number behind three that I don't. Remember. At least you remember somewhat of the stats. I don't remember any. Yeah. Usually I consider our Pokemon to have a good stat if it's over 300, or if it's at like 290. Like, Tyranitar, the only stat that doesn't get over 300 is its speed. It gets up to like, I think, 290 or something. Yeah, two, I think I re-watched, re-looked re at it, it was 250. Eh, not, not as fast as I thought, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, and I just realized that I was using my Skarmory against a Ponyta. Ponyta. Yeah, one of the only two fire types you can catch in Diamond and Pearl. Yeah. What's the other one? Like, yeah, if you want a fire type, you either need to grab a Chimchar or you're going to have to default to Ponyta. Oh, yeah. You think they at least make Magmar available at um, the Iron yeah. I guess I should correct myself. One of the only few fire types that you can catch that isn't a legendary. Then in, I think, Platinum, you could catch, uh, Magby's and a couple other fire Yeah, you could catch, like, Magby or Magmar, like, around the Iron Works. Oh, yeah. I accidentally just shot off a water spray and like that. Yeah, so they gave you choices, at least. Yeah. Wait, why am I switching around my Pokemon? I want to use Opa. I want to hit the ball. Alright, now here comes the real challenge. Facing down his craniodose with my level 16 Imperator. I don't know why I keep acting like I'm going to switch. <laughs> Mold breaker, my effect is nullified. So, Truant? Or Torrent? Wait, know. what? Yeah, Torrent. I don't know whether if it's your effects nullified or if it's like, if it cancels status effects from... Like, I think like if you use static on somebody with Mold Breaker, it doesn't work. Hmm. Ricardo's has an insane amount of attack. I know, but like, piss-poor defenses. 
Yeah, it has the highest it has one of the highest attacks of any Pokemon that's out. Yeah, Bastrodon has some of the highest defense. Uh oh, Imperter is involving. Hey oh, it's not becoming the Steel type that I wanted. I think. No, I think it doesn't become in a Steel type until the final evolution. Oh well, it eventually will. Exactly. And plop. Papa, Razor Leaf, kill the Machop. She's the only thing on my team that could resist it right now. Oh well, just on Metal Claw. Whoa, critical hit, nice. Yo, dude, you need to watch my gym battle against Rorik, because I got, like, three crits in a row on him. Crit, crit, crit. Exactly. I critted the G, dude, I critted his Onyx, and then I critted his Rampart, not, not Rampart, I saw him, Cranidos. And I was like, I'm the Pro Clint Master. All hail me. Imagine if they put a penalty for you losing, and the penalty was that his, his Cranidos became a Rampardos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd actually be pretty cool. That sucked for Ash, because I think it was like his Craniados evolved. Wasn't it mid-match with Ash, or was it mid-match with Paul? It was um, in between the matches, because his Craniados, like... Oh! Cause oh, yeah! If Paul won his badge, then, like, something happened, and Craniados evolved while doing some shit. It was like, hey, if I were Ash, I'd be like, that's not cool, that means I'm going to have to deal with that later, alright. <laughs> oh, yep, it's still in water, but did learn a metal claw. Metal claw. You know what, we're so legit, we're not even going to go heal up. Okay, I don't need to go there. Back to Lag, 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 lag running because I don't want to. Um, just walked into it. Hooray! I killed Hiker Daniel. I put up so, like so many videos on YouTube today alone. So I uploaded um the last thugging it that we did, um diamond earlier. Then I'm probably gonna put up um either this diamond or on um, the Yu-Gi-Oh one like next. I'm probably gonna put up my uh I'm probably gonna put up every video because I still have a lot of I still have a video from like a week ago. I recorded three videos in a one week in a one day stint and was gonna post them over the week. And I was just like crap. Now I have like I made two videos three days after that and I posted one of them and then I haven't posted the video that I recorded then either. So I have like I have like two videos from like a week ago that I haven't put up. Wow. Basically, and I still need to put them up. And then I have the re the three videos we recorded today. So I think I might just spend the rest of the night uploading them. Yeah. The only problem is that anything above an hour, for some reason, YouTube's a prick about and decides to be like. All right, we'll take an hour or three or ten or twenty. For me, YouTube isn't all that bad. Like it, it doesn't give me like an estimated amount of time that it would take. Like it all really depends on what else I'm doing on my computer. It's like for me, rendering like lately has been extremely fast, except for earlier where it was being like piss poor speed. On, hang on. We're gonna pause real quick. Okay. Now I'm to get out of here. Okay. Alright, I might have to go then. Okay, then I'll end my part off after I finish killing this Badoo. Alright, I need to finish up this double battle here. That I just started. The Team Galactic right. one? Yep. You're catching up to me. Go, Wurmple and Zubat! And we'll be facing off against their Chimchar and Primplup. I mean, Imperter. Imperter. Alright. I will kill this one last trainer, that way I can guarantee a full hour. Cause I'm at, fi I'm at 59 oh. minutes. Oh no! Oh, no. His, their Imperator just used Bubble against us! Oh crap! They're at, uh, oh no, Warful's almost gone, it took a crit, that's not good! Oh no, his Chip Charge just used 
Richard George is used Emperor against me. My Zubat, no! What are you doing? Speaking for Team Galactic? I reverse. I reverse. Uh, I reverse commentating it. I'm commentating for the opposite person. <laughs> no, Whirlpool! I lost. That's so lame. Wow. Stop being paralyzed, Aqua. Come on. Just absorb the damn Geodude's HP. If you die to this Geodude, I disown you. Well, guys, that's going to be the end of my video for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the second part. So, yeah. Bye. See ya. Ninety percent of a Pokemon evolved. I bet that's wrong. I wish every Pokemon evolved. I know. Come on. I need to kill this one last trainer. Camper Zachary has been defeated. And I'm gonna end off my video off here, guys. In the next episode, I shall continue on my way, probably to a forest of some sort, and whatever. So yeah, please, sub, like, comment, and also sub to Shady if you haven't already. His his yeah, his description will be in the channel below. His channel will be oh, in the crap. description below. <laughs> and, and any of my subs who are watching Di Hidalgo's video, subscribe to him, since I forgot to tell you guys to do that on mine. <laughs> See you around. See ya. See ya.